And I still didn't hear anything from God and my legs was numb and I finally was just like, you know what, God, I trust you. I don't know what you're going to do about this situation, but I'm going to have faith that you are going to take care of this situation for me, just like you said that you would. What's up you guys? I am Key Loves God. Welcome back to my channel and in today's video we are going to be talking about how you can wait on God and what to do while you're waiting on God. So there have been so many times where I've prayed to God about certain questions that I may have. God, am I being too harsh? Am I being judgmental? What should I do in this situation? Am I taking the right path? Is this the path that you even want me to go on, God? Lead me, guide me, help me. And I would sit there and wait and wait and wait it like literally felt like one time i waited probably it felt like i waited for almost a half an hour and i still didn't hear anything from god and my legs was numb and i finally was just like you know what god i trust you i don't know what you're gonna do about this situation but i'm gonna have faith that you are going to take care of this situation for me just like you said that you would still didn't hear anything back from god and i pretty much decided to take scriptures from the Bible and about the situation. So say if you're looking for guidance, you find scriptures in the Bible about how God orders our steps. Lean not on your own understanding, but in all of your ways, trust in God and he will make straight your paths. Find scriptures like that. Put one on your screensaver, put, put them around your home. Because what we have to understand is that when we have negative thoughts that come into our mind while we're waiting, Satan likes to tempt us just like he tempted Jesus when he came out of the 40 days that he had spent in the wilderness. Weak, or he knows that we're stressed out or he knows that we're sad and we really need answers. That's when he likes to really tempt us. But we have to understand as believers, it's times like these that we really have to take God's word and fill our minds with his truth to get rid of the lies or to get rid of the doubts to get rid of the worries and the concerns. And that is definitely something that I had a struggle with in the beginning as a believer. I didn't know that I was supposed to do that. I went to church and our pastor talked about it, but I didn't really fully understand it at that point in time. It wasn't until recently that I finally understood that I'm supposed to take God's scripture and I'm supposed to put it around my apartment, put it around my home, put it around our, our life and in our minds and in our bodies and our spirits because we're supposed to eat the word of God so that it can sustain us. We're supposed to take it in and apply it to our lives. So if you're having a hard time waiting on God with whatever it is, I mean, maybe you're wanting to change. Maybe you need a clean heart. When you say, create me a clean heart, oh God, so that I may not sin against you. Like, whatever it may be, go to the back of your Bible and look up anger, look up hate. Maybe you're jealous. Look up what God says about jealousy. Write at least three scriptures down that pertain to your situation. Every time you have a hard time wondering, God still didn't say anything back to me about this. What do I do? He is speaking to you through the word of God. And you keep saying that and keep reciting it until you actually see that things start to pop up and change in your life and in your situation. You can also maybe find a um, friend group. So like a lot of people like to join like small women's groups to where Bible studies or get involved in church like I was involved in choir me and my sister that way that no matter how I felt and even if I was waiting on God and I was not hearing back from him I could sing his praises I could know that this is the day that the Lord has made I will rejoice and be glad in him no matter how I may feel no matter how down I feel because I have not gotten this answer I'm still going to fill myself with what his word says through his songs through his word through scripture but I feel the closest to him when I sing. It was only right that I joined choir because I felt like that, you know, one, I got to communicate with other members, other believers, and two, I got to sing praises and I got to remember these songs and remember what they said about God and remember what God's word says about me and all of the promises that he made, he's going to keep. Of course, we all know another great way of hearing and waiting on God and what we can do in the meantime to keep our mind from running idle is to open up the Word of God. Read it. Read stories in the Bible about how God came through on His promises, about how it is exactly what He says that He is. He is all-knowing, all omnipotent. His thoughts are not our thoughts. His ways are not our ways. If you're having thoughts on like you not being enough or rejection or 
whatever it may be, look up scriptures on those as well. And by reading the word of God, he can speak to you directly through the Bible. Now, when we're reading the Bible and we're reading the words, we're hearing different testimonies from the different prophets and like the book of Job, how he literally was a man of strong faith and he lost everything and he was questioning God and he was mad at God and he was angry and he still, in the end, he got double what he had at first, if not triple. Like he literally stayed with God the whole way and God literally delivered. So by reading different stuff like that, it fills us up with faith. That's how you get faith. And we have to fill our minds instead with, instead of with doubts. Uh, I don't think that he's going to do it. it. Should it take this long? Like, should I have heard something from God by now? Like, why is it taking so long for him to get back to me? Like, is he even hearing my prayers? Is there even a God? Like, then you start having all these doubts. That's exactly where Satan wants you. He wants you confused. He wants you to be sad. He doesn't want you to have peace at all. He wants you to be anxious. And he wants you to be doubtful of God. That's what we don't want you to do. None of us need to have any doubt in our mind because we know that that is not coming from God. None of us need to be confused for we know that Satan is the author of all confusion. So us as believers, it's really important that during the time that we're waiting, we are actively reading the word of God. We're getting out. We're not sitting around because the idle mind is the devil's playground. So if you need to go out and be active, go be active. If you have faith that this thing that you're praying for is really going to happen, just like you're you're thinking it will. Say if you want to have a baby and you're like, oh my gosh, God, is this the right time for us to have a baby? I really want to have a baby girl. Like I want a baby girl right now, God. Is this the right time? And you've been waiting on God. You've been applying his word. You've been reading scriptures and all of that. And you still haven't heard back from him. How about you take the extra leap of faith and go out and buy a baby girl clothes? Don't say that you don't want to get your hopes up. I don't want to get my hopes up because if it's not a girl, I don't want to be disappointed. No, that's what God wants. He wants us to have the ultimate faith in him. Go buy you them clothes, girl. Go hang up all them baby clothes, paint the room pink and everything and have the utmost faith that God is going to do what he says he's going to do. Because that which concerns us, God is already on it. He's already done it. He's waiting on us most of the time. One of the biggest realizations for me was to understand that like, just because God doesn't always come when we want him to and he doesn't always come on our time, it doesn't mean that he's not going to do it. It means that sometimes he's building endurance in us. Sometimes he's just wanting us to be patient or sometimes he's just wanting us to get it right. He wants us to be right where he wants us to be before we get that thing. There's been so many instances to where I've prayed to God for stuff and I'm so thankful to him that he made me wait because looking back, I was not ready for so many things that I was praying for, but it was through the trials and through the tribulation and through the not knowing and through all of the tears and all of that kind of stuff that I made perfect. I made perfect in his image. And it's because of that, that now when I wasn't even thinking about it anymore, he delivered things to me that I was not even expecting in this time. He's going to do it in his timing. Sometimes we just have to understand that. And sometimes we have to understand that God is waiting on us to wait on him. If you're sitting there and you're praying and you won't even wait five minutes for God, but you will wait at the movie theater for an hour before the next movie starts because you got to get the first seat and you got you pay for this movie and you don't want to be sold out. But you won't wait five minutes for God. Like we really got to get it together, y'all. Like we have to prioritize God. We have to know, let him know that he is first in our life above everything. And he wants us to come to him and to seek him for every single area of our life sometimes in my opinion i like to believe that god does not give us our answers because he really genuinely wants us to spend that time with him he wants us to depend upon him and him alone and to not just be like well god i got something better to do you're not desperate for god you're not desperate to hear back from god we have to be better at being more patient waiting on god allowing him to fill our presence and to fill our minds and our bodies with him and his word and in his truth and maybe then we will start to see the results of what we've been waiting on so that was something that i had on my heart today that i wanted to share that's something that i'm currently dealing with in my life right now that i've thought back to the past situations and i was thinking 
I waited so many times on God and he did exactly what he said he was going to do. So why would this time be any different? Why do we start to question and doubt things whenever things are not happening on our time? Just like he did it in the time. Think about all the times in your lives when you was praying and you was thinking like, God, am I going to get evicted? Where are you? Where is this God that we're talking about? I know you're there, God. Hello. Hello. Are you there? Are you sleeping? God never sleeps. He never slumbers. So he's always watching you. He's protecting you in all your ways, even in your sleep. Even before we were born, God had so many thoughts of us. Like, do you know how small the little pieces of sand are on the beach, on the shore? That's how many thoughts God has about us even before we were born. Like, that should say a lot. That tells you how much he loves us. And he never gives up on us. And he's always waiting on us to get it right. And maybe that could be something that you can think about. He loves us. We are his children. And he wants the best for us. So sometimes it's just that we have to get it right first. And God will fill in the rest. I really hope this video blesses somebody. I'm not for sure who it's for. I know it's for myself. I'm talking to myself right now. Like, Do me a favor. It would mean the world to me if you guys can go ahead and subscribe. Like this video. Comment down below if you made it this far. Put some prayer hands or some praise hands in the comment section. That'll let me know who made it this far. If you guys would like a notification shout out, comment Noti Gang, hashtag Noti Gang in the comment section. And I will shout you guys out on my little screen up here. And I just want to thank you guys so much for growing with me and continuing to tune into my videos every single week. I love you guys and I'll see you in another video. Got a word right now. They turning up the heat, but we won't bow down. Run with me, run with me. Run with me, run with me, run with me. Run with me, run with me. Run with me.